Welcome back summoners again for round two predictions for Red Goblin and Miss Soccer. Now going forward with these round two predictions I will make the videos just a little bit shorter um, because I'm not going to include the pros and cons that I had in the first video. If you guys want to see the pros and cons for each champion then I will just put a link to the first video in the description for the round two predictions. Also with the round two predictions, I want to go over anything I may have missed in round one. So for instance, with if you happen to have Red Goblin and you put in Symbiote Spider-Man for synergy, there is an important synergy for Symbiote Spider-Man for those who have him as four star or five star and want to inflict even more damage. Now he does have a spe his special 2, creates a non-stacking fury buff, granting 5% attack for each armor break on the opponent, lasting 20 seconds. While this is active, heavy attacks inflict an additional armor break. So as you know, his armor breaks last about 80 seconds, which is an extremely long time for his armor break and they can stack them. I don't believe they have a, a, a number how <laughs> many yeah, you can actually stack. So a good 40 to 50 armor breaks, the yeah, Symbiote Spider-Man is going to be hitting over 100k, close to 200k, especially with that Fury granting 5% attack for each armor break that you have. Um, so yeah, it is an extremely strong synergy for Symbiote Spider-Man. If you do want to see how it works, I will put a link, a link to Seton's video, he does have a video up that he did in the beta where he shows Symbiote Spider-Man using that insane damage. Now he does take a lot of blocking damage because you do have parry and then use the heavy. But um, he didn't put Guardian on the team and Guardian increases the block proficiency for every single champ that's on the team. So if you want to go ahead and try this, I would strongly suggest putting Guardian on your team as well to help reduce that blocking damage. If you guys haven't subscribed to this channel already, then what is you doing, baby? Subscribe! And yes guys, uh, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. There's uh, a lot of people who view these videos. I would say about 90% view the videos and they're not subscribed. So make sure you guys just subscribe to the, the channel. It really does help me out, bring out more content like this and even more in the future that I want to bring out and you guys can be a part of that. Also be sure to put a comment on the videos as well. If you guys do manage to grind for the champions and that you got them, what were your expectations? Did you want Kabam to increase the buffs for them like say from a soccer for instance you know how is your experience using these champions and the various content that the game has so it's you know it's important to put the comments on there as well see how you guys are doing in the game where is your progression at you know put those comments on there i may be able to put out more videos depending on what you guys may need help for as well or i can point you in the right direction but let's go ahead and go over the cutoffs for round one and then well, I'm going to see these champs going for in round two. So as far as the four star basic Red Goblin, he did go for around 1.8 million. So a little bit lower than what I predicted around 2.1 or 2.3. So for round two, I see him going for 1.9 million. Again, add your 10%. For four star feature Massacre, he went for 5.4 million. And uh, I had predicted 6 million, so pretty much on point for that. So for round two, I see him going for 6.5 million. Again, add your 10%. And then five star feature Massacre, he went for 29 million. And I had predicted him to go for 30 million. So again, for his uh, prediction for round two, I see him still going for 30 million for the dupe. Again, this is all duped to the fact that he is no champ. But uh, yeah, my pr predictions were pretty good for round one. If you guys want to see the video to that, I will put a link in the description. And then what I'll also do is I'll link the description for round one for round two into that description. So I'll put round two's link in round one and round one's link in round two. This way you guys can see both videos if you have happened to miss it.
All right. If you guys like this video, always make sure you give a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Arena Prediction video.